Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to make the most delicious chicken meatballs with like a really yummy creamy Parmesan sauce. If you've been watching me for a while, you know a couple years ago I uploaded a video that I literally named my favorite way to make salmon, and I think over a million of you watched it. People love it until this day. So many of you on a weekly basis send me DMs with photos of that recipe that you have recreated it for dinner. Which, by the way, that's still how my favorite way to make salmon. In fact, I made it that way last night, served it with wild rice, and it was delicious. But all that to say is that I wanted to make a version without seafood because my sister doesn't really like seafood. And she says, well, I would like a meatball. So I figured, you know what, let's do a meatball. I didn't love it with ground beef, which is really shocking coming from me because I love me some meat. And then I did it with ground chicken, and it was delicious. And I added spinach to the um, meatball mixture, and they made them so delicious, so moist and fantastic. I'm thrilled to be able to share it with you. I've got my oven preheated to 400 just because I'm going to the, toss the meatballs in the oven to cook um, so that I don't have to deal with it rolling them around in my pan, but you can do them both ways. Breadcrumbs, ground chicken. Ground chicken does not have a lot of flavor. We know this. We need to keep it moist, so... I'm gonna give it flavor by grating in some garlic, lots of parmigiano, some Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and of course, you're gonna go ahead and use an egg to bind it all, and your spinach. Spinach is gonna give you flavor. It's also gonna keep them really moist. And if you have little ones that don't like to usually eat spinach, um, toss them in here and they'll have no idea. They might notice by the color, but you can just tell them it's parsley. It'll be fine, but they're really delicious. So I'm just gonna grate in some garlic. A few cloves will do. Let it rain, some parmigiano, a little Italian seasoning. You can add some fresh basil or fresh parsley here if you wanted to. I'm gonna add my egg. Just throw it all in at the same time. It don't matter, it's gonna be great. And some sale, some pepe. And before I get my hands dirty and touch anything, I wanna just take a little bit of olive oil onto my baking sheet that I have lined with some parchment just so that they don't stick and become really nice and delicious. Add your spinach. This is frozen chopped spinach that I have thawed and I have squeezed all of that out of. And I also like to add a little bit of olive oil to my chicken meatballs because chicken is very lean, very dry. And if you know me, you know, I just don't get down with a dry meatball, okay? It's just not my thing. If you like dry meatball, that's all you, but it is not me. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a nice mix through. When you add spinach, look at how much it bulks that up. That's just a pound of ground chicken, okay? And look how much it makes. Once your mixture is all together like this, you're gonna just start forming meatballs. And you can make them as big or small as you want. I'm taking a little bit of the oil from the baking dish and I'm just doing that. And you can make them as small or as big as you want. I kinda like to do, I don't know, something in between, I suppose. Not too big, not too small, but they are dinner size. So I want them to be a good amount, a good size. Take a little olive oil, drizzle over the top. You can absolutely just do these in your skillet or in your saucepan, you know, in your whatever vessel you're cooking this whole thing in. I just, sometimes, I'm not gonna lie to you, I can't stand having to roll around meatballs in a skillet. It, is it me? I don't know. Am I the problem? <laughs> Um, for some reason it annoys me. So I'm just gonna pop these into the oven. A little parmigiano on top, a little salty crust, you know, cause it's good, it's good like that. Into the oven, 400, about 15 minutes or so. Pop those in. I'm gonna pop these on top. Bada bang, bada boom. And now we get started on making the sauce. Okay, I'm gonna use a shallot. I'm gonna go ahead and finally, I'll probably just end up slicing it instead of slicing or dicing it, but you could do either. It does not make a difference whatsoever. I just like to get it done as fast as possible because shallots make me cry. All right, I'm just using my shallow Dutch oven, your olive oil, add your shallot in, let that come to temperature. Sometimes I'll add my aliums to hot oil, sometimes cold, depending on how I want to infuse the flavor. It makes no difference to me sometimes, okay? Sometimes fancy people that do cooking for, as a, as a profession, they'll tell you it's a must to do it one way or another. Not really, not in this case, I promise you. Garlic, give it the old Tony Soprano treatment, give it a whack, 
and then finally chop it up. I'm gonna add my garlic. I'm gonna add it at the same time as my tomatoes, actually. I'm gonna do like a leaf of basil right now just to start infusing that flavor. A little pinch of sale. Beautiful, you could do more tomatoes if you want to. They just kind of add a little bit of color and just slight sweetness. And I'm just gonna gently let this cook for like four or five minutes because honestly, we're just waiting for the meatballs to come out of the oven and then everything else comes together in like, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. So when that, those come out, um, it's gonna be really quickly. You might wanna get your side dish ready uh, before you get this whole thing ready. I would do like an orzotto, which is on my website if you haven't made it. It's delicious. You could do a pot of rice. You could do some polenta. You could do some angel hair. Mashed tater is always a good option. Um, we did wild rice last night, which was really delicious, like a pilaf, you know, with the salmon. But it would work just as delicious for this one. Just going to keep my eye on this. I'm gonna go ahead and add some white wine. Now, if you remember that recipe with the salmon and kind of how it came about, it was because I was planning on making like a scampi sauce. So I went ahead and added the wine. And then at the last minute, I was like, oh, I really wish I could have done like a Parmesan cream sauce. But then I added the cream anyway. I was like, oh, how bad could it be? And it was sublime and so delicious and there's no going back. But if you don't want to add wine, don't, whoa, just go ahead and skip it and add your chicken stock in heavy cream. Um, but this is delicious. I'm gonna let this increase the heat, bubble up, and then we add the next ingredient. Add a mixture of heavy, mm, heavy cream and chicken stock, along with another pinch of salt. Because remember, if everything is seasoned throughout, then it's really well-rounded. And some pepper, along with some Italian seasoning. And you're just gonna let this bubble away slowly, like I said, until the meatballs are ready. The meatballs have about, I'd say six minutes left. So let this just sort of simmer and reduce a bit. Um, and that's pretty much all we're gonna do for now. I'm gonna add a little bit of basil so that it infuses as it bubbles. It's so good. Sauce is simmering, meatballs are out. They were in the oven for 15 minutes and they are beautiful, might I add. Good color as well. I'm gonna just nestle them in that sauce and I'm gonna let those bubble away. They're really plump, so I know they'll be really juicy. I'm gonna add most of them in. I'm gonna leave just a couple out for a certain Tootsie Pop because I will cover those with marinara sauce. So that's her preference and as long as she eats especially when there's spinach and yumminess involved. Mommy is happy. Let me put the lid on because I'm gonna just let these cook for about five minutes, crank it up just a tiny, tiny bit so that it all bubbles up and delicious. Um, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Gorgeous, I just turned this down, but how gorgeous is this? Look at that sauce. Thickened, beautiful, delicious, reduced into perfection. Turning that off. Parmigiano, obviously, to make a nice Parmesan sauce. You just wait, okay? If you thought the salmon was good, you just wait till you make these, okay? A little chiffonade of herbage because, you know, I like it. I, if I had spicy bell, spicy bell pepper, spicy, um, Pepper flakes, I'd add those too. I'm just gonna serve myself one as like a little appetizer because we are having this for dinner as we always do. Because you know how you roll around here. Can't stand the side of a dirty plate. Drives me bonkers. Oh, that is so plump. Ah, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. They are so tender. They practically fall apart in your mouth. That sauce is dynamite as always. It always is. It's good with just about everything. Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com for the written recipe. I hope you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.